friends, welcome to my Halloween series. Today I am doing a quick creative Halloween look, um, very last minute friendly, of Candace from the Netflix show You. Candace is definitely my favorite female character from season one and two. I think her story is so haunting and I was rooting for her the whole time. I think she's fantastic. So if you're interested in watching, we're gonna hop right in. Just a fair warning, there are many spoilers of season one and two ahead. So do not keep watching if you don't want it spoiled. So level one of this costume is very simple. All you're going to need is a leather jacket, a red lipstick, and of course, some heart-shaped sunglasses. If you want to make this costume a little more spot on, you could add some dark wash jeans, a green or red long sleeve, or her polka dot dress if you have something like that, a curling iron, just about a full face of accurate makeup, and some gold hoops. So as you just saw in level one, the only real makeup you need is a red or dark plum lipstick. For this video though, I am going for option two. So I am doing a full face accurate to how she does her makeup in the seasons. No shade to Candace, I think it's true to when this is filmed, but she kind of does her makeup like we all did in 2016. So I'm going for a subtle smoky eye, trying to shape my cheeks to define them like her. She has very round apples of her cheeks. And putting my blush very far down on my face as she does. So as you can see, I have also curled my hair with my trusty wand um, and given myself a bit of an aggressive side part to match her. She always has wavy curly hair in the show, so I think that's pretty important to the look. Okay, I'm going to get dressed now. The look of hers that I'm specifically going for is in season two. Again, lots of spoilers coming, so um, click off now if you haven't seen season two. But Season two in the final episode where she finally catches Joe and she calls love. So she's wearing what looks like a green long sleeve shirt, her iconic leather jacket, and just like dark wash denim. And I had all that in my closet, so that's what I'm going for. I think another one of her recognizable looks, though, is her polka dot dress with the leather jacket um, that I believe is shown, shown in season one when she first meets Joe. It's like a flashback. So let's get dressed. Do we, do we feel it? Do we like it? What's another one of her lines? What is it with fucking Joe Goldberg? <laughs> do we like? Okay, y'all. I just filmed some really fun TikToks, so if you don't follow me on TikTok, it's Lynn 1330 I'll be posting a lot of Halloween content, so go check it out. Sorry, I took my jacket off, I was sweating. But now is for the final level up. And if you want to take this costume to the absolute next level, you could throw in some fake blood. And even a Joe Goldberg to match. So I think this would be a super deranged but fun couples costume if you have a man's in your life or just like a guy friend have him just like throw on like a navy blue or black baseball hat and like a jacket jeans he's joe goldberg um if you want to level it up you could put some blood on his hands or something um white t-shirt all bloody and for candace um if you're going alone and you like more of a gory costume you could do one of two things. The first that I think would be really cool, but I'm not doing today, um, would be like a buried alive Candace. So obviously in the first season, Joe thinks he killed her and buries her and she literally crawls out. So you could cover your face in dirt and like scratches and like dirty up all your clothes. I think that would be really cool. Or you could go for a more season two gore um, when Spoilers, Candace is sadly killed by love and she stabs her in the neck with that like 
cut open bottle because Love and Joe are messed up. <laughs> Um, and she bleeds out from her neck basically. So I'm going to do that look right now because I have a weird love for fake blood. Okay, I am in the bathroom just in case of spillage. I have my fake blood in a little jar and I'm gonna be really careful with this because I do like this shirt and I want to keep it. If you are, want to trash your shirt, feel free to go crazy and spill blood everywhere. But I am basically, just going to drip blood starting like where this crease in my neck is, I guess. We're going to dip my little Q-tip in and then just let it drip down from the starting point. And if they drip too far, I will get them with a tissue. I should probably have a tissue on hand. And this is the look. I love it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed these three levels of Candace from you on Netflix. Um, I think it's a really fun look. You can make it as easy or as gory as you want. And I hope this inspired some of you. Stick around for the rest of my Halloween series. There will be a few more videos like this that I'm really excited for. Thanks for watching. Later. Later.